welcome to this video on what's new in Sage 100 version 2023.1. We have a couple of items to talk about this release. First, we have a new next lot number button on the lot serial number distribution screen. Our second item is the work ticket to purchase order post conversion link utility. Let's get started. Let's go into Sage 100 to see how the next lot number button works. We're in inventory management because I want to show you from where the next lot number is drawn when you click the next lot number button. Let's go to item maintenance. And after we select an item code, If you go to the Additional tab, you want to pay attention to the next lot serial number. And you can see that our number is set at 2001. And this number will increment by one each time the next lot number button is clicked. Let's cancel out of here. Close the screen. Let's put this new button to work. So let's go to Purchase Order. And from the main menu, we're going to select Receipt of Goods Entry. First thing here is to click the Next Receipt Number button. And now we're going to find our Purchase Order Number. We know it's down at the bottom. Select it. When I go to the Lines tab, I'm going to get a pop-up. And I'm going to say Yes. Here we have our item code. And we ordered 10. Once we select that line, we click the Lot serial distribution icon or button up here and it brings up our lot serial number distribution screen. We have our lot number field and we're going to go over here to our icon or button for our next lot number and all we have to do is click on it and it gave us our lot number. We saw it was 2001. And it brought it for us to this field. So now we can see how this streamlines workflow. By pulling in the next automatic lot number for distribution, we don't have to go and find it. The lot serial number distribution screen is used in several modules, which means we find this new lot number button in Inventory Management, Sales Order, Purchase Order, Bill of Materials, Production Management, and Return Merchandise Authorization, therefore streaming workflow throughout the system. Now let's look at the second item in this release, Work Ticket to Purchase Order Post Conversion Link Utility. If you are converting the Legacy Work Order Module, either Scanco's or Sage's version, to Sage's Production Management Module, and have existing purchase order links to work orders, they will not convert. Until now, you would investigate and relink purchase order detail lines to work ticket material lines after you convert to Production Management. This new utility helps with this task. The post-conversion utility analyzes work order data still in the purchase order tables and suggests links to work tickets. However, this does require you to intervene and make decisions. In the end, this allows former broken links to be re-established with the new two-way mechanism for linking purchase order details to work ticket materials. This utility does the following. 
It analyzes existing work order data in the purchase order tables and suggests links to existing open or released work tickets. It delivers the result in a grid format, which is familiar to us. In addition, it offers the ability to remove the link data as well. It offers suggestions to which work ticket material line best matches up with the work order information within the purchase order tables. It also provides drill downs to work ticket history inquiry and purchase order inquiry so you can view the original document suggested in the links. The utility attempts to make the changes you select and provides an activity log entry to record the changes. It includes error checking if either the work ticket or purchase order are unavailable due to record locking. This utility can only be run if both production management and purchase order are set up in the current company. After backing up the data, access the utility menu by going to File and select Run. When Sage 100 Run Program dialog box displays, type asterisk UTL and click OK. The utility menu list displays. Select Work Ticket to Purchase Order Post Conversion Link Utility. Let's go and walk through the process. I have backed up all the data and selected a company which has production management and purchase order modules. The company is PMZ. Let's walk through the process. First, we're going to go up to File, select Run, and we already have it filled in, but if it's not, you would type asterisk UTL, click OK, and we have the Sage 100 Utilities menu. We're going to scroll down and select Work Ticket to Purchase Order Post Conversion Link Utility. Then you click OK. Remember, you have to back up your data before you do this. And here it is. We've got our purchase orders and we have our recommendations for action. If we select one of the lines, we can dig deeper into either purchase order inquiry or work ticket inquiry and we can view the actual document. Here's a work ticket history and we can do purchase order inquiry and by seeing the original document we can decide whether or not to link the two. If we want to link them we would check the link box and proceed and it is successful. So we successfully linked those two items together. So remember you still have to make the decision and investigate but this will certainly help in the process. Thank you for watching this video.